Blessings everyone. I am Kalina. Welcome to my channel. We are here in a very grand time this month of December. I'm going to be bringing through a little bit of information, but more than anything, I'm going to focus on the Language of Light DNA key codes for you to assist you this month in your process. So in this month, we are receiving massive amounts of light. They started in November. They are continuing, and I do not see them stopping until closer to the end of December, actually around um, just after Christmas, because on Christmas Day is when those Christ Consciousness codes amplify and activate within the cellular structure. Everyone is going through receiving this light. It is encoded and it's coming through our great central sun, through our sun, to activate us to a higher level, initiating us in higher frequency and vibration. There will be many of you that are feeling this light incoming and it's creating like waves, ripples of waves through your body. It's like a plasma uh, liquid light that is coming in. You may feel, I spoke with someone yesterday in the grocery store that said they were feeling wobbly in their head. Um, you may feel lightheaded, you may feel dizzy, you may feel blissful and love is, as your heart is expanding. Some of you may feel huge shifts happening within the physical body of releasing in different ways, either, you know, the intestinal release. Um, some of you are going to not be able to eat and some of you are going to be really hungry right now. So just know that these changes and shifts in the body are part of everything that is going on because as this massive light, this incoming light comes in, it's helping you to release the density in yourself. You may also have pain in your head somewhere, a lot of head stuff going on. If you didn't get my newsletter for December, there are codes in there. I talked about in there the stellar gateway, which is above our head. The divine gateway is what I call it. I know some people call it stellar gateway. Um, I will, I have to call the things in the way that I know that my guides have taught me. We are having this light come in to elevate our connection in our stellar gateway, our divine gateway, back to the source of light from which we came. So back to the God consciousness. This is so divine. It is like a ripple effect in the moment of now that is happening for all of you to become the light beings you are, to understand your light work here on the planet, to know thyself, to love thyself, and to be thyself. There is a truth in everyone that is going to be coming up within themselves, and each person's truth is their own. No one can deny your truth as you're going through this. And not everyone's is the same. So hold the space when somebody is going through their shift, their change, their transformation, their transcendence. It is what they asked for. Never put anyone else's transformation down. Never tell someone that their transformation is wrong. And never tell someone that the information that they received is wrong. I've been through that enough in my life with a lot of people online. And what it did for me is push me into staying in my own knowing. This is part of the process of trusting yourself. So write it down, journal it, trust what you get and you're gonna keep going because this light is gonna to continue to activate you to dive into your own inner wisdom, your inner knowledge, so that you can shift and change, so that you can expand your consciousness and your reality, so that your awareness is greater than ever. Our love, the love that we are, 
expands in this light. It is bringing us back here, as I have taught for many years, leaving the false identity ego to live from the sacred heart in compassion, in love, in kindness, in balancing the divine feminine and masculine within yourself. This is union. And everyone on the planet is doing their part to bring this union together. For some of it, it's grid work. This is what I do. I take people all over the world and we do all kinds of events. But when I'm there, I am doing grid work, opening stargates, opening portals, so the light can come in to shift humanity's consciousness, to upgrade the frequency on the planet. And many of you are doing it too. And some of you don't know it. I have been blessed to be part of a group called Soul Search. On this year, I will be taking everyone through my experience from a child to an adult to now and becoming an avatar. So that TV show is coming soon. It will be fabulous. I'm excited and things are shifting and changing for me in my work. And this is what I'm seeing for everyone else. I am seeing new foundations happening and this is the time right now to really create. While this light is so expansive and while this light is activating you to remember who you are, while this light is having you come alive. I've talked about since Easter Sunday 2022 when I received my crystalline golden spine when it came online and my friends as well from work that we had completed out in the ethers and on the grid for the indigenous. It was our gift. They asked us, the indigenous asked us what we wanted. And whenever I ask for a gift for myself, I always say I want it for all others. So at that moment when I received that on Easter Sunday, she, she and I anchored this gift into the New Earth Crystalline Grid for all to receive it. Only to find out months later in the summer that other way showers on the planet started talking about the 5D spine. Somebody has to do this work first, receive these things and anchor them into the grid for it to happen and elevate the consciousness and for it to happen for others to be able to receive it as well. We are all pieces to the puzzle. You are a piece to the puzzle. And remember that this month. Don't give up because of the things that are happening in your life. We just ended November, which also was a portal for those that wish to believe the planet. I did have a sister that left the planet and it was her choice and it was a beautiful choice for her. Her body was ailing, and from what I understood, in pain. But we must remember when people choose to leave, that means these souls have done what they came here to do. The other thing that I'm seeing is that on the earth, Gaia is continuing her planetary changes. There will continue to be events with earthquakes, volcanoes, water, storms. It's her natural way of cleansing herself. She knows exactly what she needs to do to evolve like you are. And remember that the persons that are in those places and spaces at that time chose those places and spaces for the experiences that they came here for. It may sound far-fetched, but it is the truth. It is what you call a blueprint. <laughs> the other thing I want to touch on in what I was shown, which is very interesting, is to be careful of the tempters. A temptress, a tempter that may come into your life. People tempting you to go a certain way. People tempting you to give you things or... Mm, people tempting you through, um, 
<laughs> promising you things, that's what I'm hearing, promising you things that they are not going to come through with. There will also be in relationships, people that come together, and there will be those that come in to use people. So be very careful about that as well. This is one thing that I'm really stepping back from right now to really hold my center and to focus on what I'm here to do right now. And if the right person comes along that matches my frequency, that is it my compliment, I will consider <laughs> a relationship. But right now, my work and what I was shown is to focus and center myself and allow everything that comes in to happen to happen. I've been talking about for six to eight months about how we are being pushed to stay in alignment, how we are here to follow what we're feeling and what we know in our heart. This has been happening for quite a while for me, like a year, but the last six to eight months I've really been talking about this and explaining this on my Patreon. I know I've talked about it here on the, on the YouTube videos as well. We are being aligned and every time we come out of alignment, you're going to feel a push, you're going to feel anxiety, you're going to feel a tension when you're making the wrong decision because you're making it from your ego and not from your heart. You're being aligned on purpose. Listen to your body. I've been saying this over and over. Listen to your body. Listen to your knowing. Listen to how you feel. If it feels good, if your heart expands. I've been teaching this for like six, seven years. When the heart expands or something makes you feel really good or really enjoy, follow that feeling. Because it's going to get much harder when you don't listen. And it's going to create obstacles. Maria Khuntash Namiyatha Mah Ana Aki Marash. All as well. So I'm gonna unbury my notes here really quick just to see if there's anything that I need to cover for you. It is now that we see. and full in the truth and know in our hearts what is the way for us. Remember that you are the light, you are the path, you are the way, but it only happens when you align yourself, okay? The light that is coming in, the notes from my meditation I have is a communion with Source. It's the same thing I said with that divine gateway that we are being activated to re to expand its its a connection with us to expand our awareness. That is union with source, okay? They're calling it communion with source. I'm referring to they, that's, these are my guides. Um, the light that's coming in is a, is a miracle. This is what I'm getting, it is a miracle from our creator. Receive it, receive this light that's coming in through our divine gateway. Receive this light um, when you start feeling these energies happening, you start feeling um, this blissfulness, um, love, you might start feeling what this could be high. I've never done drugs, so I don't know what that is. I, from what I know, I'm assuming that it's the same. But for me, it's so natural and it's beautiful. And when you feel that happening, sit with it. Either get on earth or just sit in a room, sit still. Sit in a space and place to receive this light. Open yourself up to receive it if it's for your highest and greatest good. And right now this is, it's coming from source. And, and it's beautiful. Again, like I said, it is assisting you to connect more with your divine knowledge, your wisdom that is already embedded within you. It's in your DNA. We are having these crystalline upgrades, like I was talking about, what my guides called it the golden spine. And when they showed me, when I saw it the first time I had it, it was like crystalline golden spine. It was golden and diamond and just, woof, my whole room, when it lit up in me, my whole room lit up gold. And um, if you did not watch my 11.11 video where I did the activations for that 
crystalline spine, the golden crystalline spine, go back and watch that because um, I was shown after Egypt, because I was getting an upgrade in Egypt after doing all the grid work, the next day I, they were showing me DNA shifts and changes within myself. I was feeling it. I was seeing the different strands of DNA lighting up on the 21st of October when I was going through that. And they said, you are going to anchor this into the grid for all of humanity. That was my gift from completing the 30 days of grid work in Egypt. And that's my gift also for humanity. Uh, my work here is not for myself. The work that I'm doing is for all. And there is a lot of us out there, and we're all pieces to the puzzle. Keep your frequency high this month, your vibration high, this is important. Um, there is this little thing about niggling, niggling, like squirming. What's making you feel squirmish in your life? Something that just doesn't feel right, but you haven't let it go yet. You really need to do this during this time because if you don't do it, you're going to miss the mark when January comes. And then you're going to be stuck going through what I call the looping cycle. And it's just going to keep going. So now is the time to really pay attention to what is this little niggle in you that you just know you have to do, but you're not doing it. And you know that the outcome for yourself is going to be so much better if you take that leap of faith and do what you need to do. And you all know what I'm talking about because everyone's got something that's pushing in them that you're just going, ah, I shouldn't be doing this anymore. Ugh, this isn't right for me anymore. Mm, this person shouldn't be in my life. Listen to the niggle and do the wiggle <laughs> and say goodbye in gratitude always in gratitude and love okay because we always everything that we've done in our life helps us to elevate our consciousness and to expand ourselves and move forward on our journey and accelerate our soul there is a huge acceleration happening 2024 is going to be very accelerated I am seeing this big time it's gonna be very accelerated so in order for you to be on that train You've got to get rid of the things that are weighting you down. Okay. Uh, again, focus on what you want because this light is like miraculous. You're going to get it. All right. Um, really focus on that. And I'm not joking. Like this light right now is this, it's like a manifestation. It's a creation light. And we are here to put that good out there that we want to do. And remember everything you ask for yourself, you always ask for all others. Always. This is the awakened enlightened ones. We know it's not about greed, it's not about ourselves because we're all one. Okay? Maria Khamtoshna Maria Akia Asa. Okay. I'll talk about 2024 in another video. It's really about building a new foundation. Start it now though. Um, really watch the signs that are coming to you that are leading you in directions. And also just a little bit, the split is still happening. I got a lot of people sending me. Uh, messages about this split. What is the split? The split is either you're staying in the material world or you're moving into awakening your spirituality and being on the divine path, um, really diving into who you are. And when you do that, you align with your purpose while you're here. And people say there is no purpose. Some people say there is a purpose. Some people there's a mission. Some people there's no mission. Well, you made a choice to come here. So why did you come here? You came here to live your life by living from your divine will. Not by being programmed and put into a place and space of conformity that tells you what to do. There's a huge shift happening with this split. Do you trust yourself? Do you trust what you feel? Do you trust what you know? Or do you want to crawl back in the corner or crawl in the ball and go, I'm going to stay where it's safe and comfortable and I'm just going to do what I've already known. It's completely up to you. The other thing I'm going to touch on really quick is I'm getting a lot of messages from people, emails, that a lot of people are going through really dark things. And everyone is at a different space and place in their process. No one is in the same, same place because everyone's experiences are different. There are, I've said this for years. There are no two experiences the same. You've lived here before. 
Everything is collectively in your DNA, and that which you are bringing up to be revealed to be healed which I know one of my clients took that to make a name for her business now. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> but that's just what always came through me. I was like, well, that's cool. So what is revealing to be healed? You're going to keep seeing, okay? So if you're in a space where you're feeling like everything's so dark, it's just showing you there are things that need to be healed. Continue your journey. Continue knowing that as this light's coming in, this stuff is coming up and surfacing. I have a lot of very old videos from 2015, 2016, 2017, all these lives I did on Facebook. I talked about all of that. I used a whiteboard. You can always go back and find those on my Facebook. So just know that it's okay if that's where you are. As long as you focus on your healing and don't run from it. Okay? I'm going to give you some codes to help you with that. There will be a lot of activations that are come in here. Remember, I am a blue ray language of light specialist, and they, my guys have called me a blue ray, blue ray language of light master. Um, I have used this light and activ activated souls in so many lifetimes, and here I am again. So I'm also a rose ray. And that has to do with the Sisters of the Rose and the devotion to the goddess, the devotion to the feminine and raising the feminine on the planet, which is another thing that is actually happening through this process. Everyone is bringing their feminine back into here, connecting with Mother, our Mother Gaia, our Divine Mother, you know, Cosmic Mother, the Creator. From that who made you, it's very important so that we can create the balance within ourselves to have a harmonized planet. This is what it's all about. You didn't come back here just for you. You came back here for all. Okay. There will be some healing here too, so if you wish to accept the healing, just say, I accept this healing from Kilina, and you'll receive it. I'm getting very hot, so it's already starting. I'm a multidimensional quantum energy healer. I feel everyone when I do sessions with them. So I, I become them as a full body conduit. I feel every single thing that they're feeling to be able to help heal them. Oh, that's one more thing. For those of you that don't get the newsletter, I know a lot of you are knocking on my door for sessions. I opened up sessions on December 1st when the newsletter came out. They sold out in two hours. If you're not getting the newsletter, please sign up because as soon as it goes out, they get booked so quickly. And I'm sorry for those of you that missed. Um, but I'm actually really having to listen to my body and as I am embody more of my higher self into this physical body, it's saying, I am saying, <laughs> for all that I am, do this many a month because I was overdoing it and I need time and space for me as well. So I'm sorry if you missed those sessions. You can always join my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Kalina Malnar, spelled just like it is on the bottom of the screen here. And a lot of people have come in there. There's also you can join for free to get some of the free things. But check that out instead. Okay, so let's go ahead and do these activations with the language of light. And know that all is well. Maril Hashura. Na samar inna mech and emar anteki sirosh no i ha fot ai ha uchante sir as na ush no uru und ur ut 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 chrunt ira amma nechunt iras na santa ich ki har ur yana er shia shiaru ute maras naka sir fahunt nerosh na shuran the maid ki ki hai mara Swa <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
be blessed this month and for those of you that celebrate the holidays many blessings with your families as you come together remember the divinity of all that you are open your hearts in love and visit one another in love not hate not jealousy and don't bring anger to the table or to that which needs to be in the highest frequency and vibration at this time of year especially when these Christ codes are coming in. The Christ codes are already in your cells. You are just being activated. And as an initiator of the Sisters of the Rose and an activator of the Feminine Christ Consciousness Codes, May I say that you are all divinely blessed and becoming all that you are. You just need a little push sometimes. I love you. I wish you a wonderful December. There will be more videos coming this month. And I thank you all for listening. Tarianama nasutas mai. Blessings. Eternal love, eternal light, eternal life. Maya Kita. Maya. I love you. You so do for a